Hello, everyone, and welcome to our virtual career spotlight on behalf of Chinook School Division and the Regina District Industry Education Council. My name is Lisa Kuntz Samanuk, and I am the Chinook School Division Industry Education Program Facilitator. Are you passionate about working in the agriculture industry? There are many different careers to consider across a number of industries. We would like to welcome you today to the, the third of our five part video series to highlight some of the potential career learning opportunities that are available for you at Olds College of Agriculture and Technology. The video series will also be available on our website and YouTube channel for future reference. We will also have some time at the end of each of the presentations for you to ask questions or you may contact the college directly. Please join me in welcoming Aubrey Price, Manager of Recruitment Operations. Our spotlight today is the third of our five-part series with Olds College of Agriculture and Technology and continues with our focus on highlighting diverse careers in agriculture. Today's topic is an agriculture communication certificate. Did you know that there's a huge demand for communication professionals in the agriculture industry? If you have an interest in photography, videography, social media, or journalism, come learn more about your options to break into this exciting and constantly developing career field. Following this spotlight, you will find some additional spotlights on some of the programs at Olds College of Agriculture and Technology. These include Bachelor of Digital Agricultural Degree, Equine Programming, Land and Environment, and Careers in Agriculture. There is sure something to be there that will speak to your interests. Please join me in welcoming Aubrey here with the, us today. Take it away, Aubrey. Thanks so much, Lisa. I am excited to be here to talk to you guys about the careers in agriculture or agriculture communication certificate. Um, and we're going to talk today about, you know, what the program is, what you're going to learn and what you can do with it when you're done. Um, so without further ado, let's get started here. Perfect. So we are very excited about this new program. It's launching for the first time in fall 2023, the Agriculture Communication Certificate. So as Lisa mentioned, there is a lot of demand right now for professionals in the agriculture industry um, to meet the needs for marketing, brand development, media creation, public relations, and crisis communications. So this program is going to be a great opportunity for creative minds who are interested in telling the story of egg companies and sharing that with the world. So this program is so flexible in terms of time and location. It really allows you to work around whatever else you have going on in your life. You can complete it from anywhere in the world that you have an internet connection and at whatever time is most convenient for you. So if you have a full-time job, if you have family obligations, you can work this program around whatever you have going on in your life. Um, it is designed as a one-year program to be completed in a minimum of 10 months. However, if you have other obligations in your life that prevent you from being a full-time student, you can spread this program out over two years or three years, just taking, you know, maybe two or three courses at a time instead of five. And that will allow you to complete the same program and still maintain everything else that you have going on in your life. Um, on the other hand, if you still really want the, you know, traditional Olds College campus experience, that's still an option for you as well. You can still come and live in residence right here on campus, you know, be able to talk to your instructors one on one in person, um, and then you would still complete the courses online at whatever time is convenient for you. So I'm going to play you a quick video here um, that just kind of gives a broad overview of the program and then we're going to get into the details. Um, I love this video because it does kind of share some visual images of the types of work that you could find yourself doing after you graduate.
Okay, perfect. So I hope that gave you, you know, a little bit of a taste of what we're getting into here. Now, this program is going to be delivered online asynchronously. So what that means is that students don't have to be in person on campus, although of course you can be, like I mentioned before. There is not a specific meeting time for your classes or a time that you have to be logged into your computer. Um, what it does not mean, the program is not self-directed um, and you will have connections with your instructors and your classmates so this isn't a correspondence program you still are following the regular term schedule with your consistent deadlines and you're going to be taught the material by qualified instructors they may record lectures for you to watch or communicate through discussion boards and emails you'll be able to ask questions and reach out for help um, you'll also still have group discussions and projects that are going to teach you about collaboration and teamwork in a virtual environment One of the great things about this program is that students are going to finish their studies with a 14 week paid internship. So this means that you're going to have industry relevant work experience on your resume before you even graduate. And it gives you a chance to network with employers. It's not uncommon for our students to get hired by the same place that um, have, they had their internship placement there. It's also an opportunity to explore one facet of the industry. Maybe you'll learn that you love social media management, or maybe you're going to decide that you want to pursue photography or crisis communications instead. It just gives you that opportunity to try something out and see if it's for you. Um, one of the courses that you take in the program actually helps you prepare you to find your placement. And this process is supported by the program faculty. So while we, don't, we won't find the placement for you, um, we're there every step of the way. You aren't just sent off on your own. All right, and then we're going to dive into some of the specific courses that you're going to take as part of this program so you have an idea of what kind of skills you'll have when you're leaving it. There is a lot of emphasis on functional skills that are going to serve you well in the workplace. Um, so social media management, as I'm sure you know, is critically important for companies to be engaging with their customers and their stakeholders, and a solid social media presence really can make or break a company. This is such a fast changing field, it's important to be able to switch up your strategies and even change what platforms you're using on a very quick basis. Um, and then multimedia production is going to ensure that you're comfortable with industry standards for content production and editing. And it gives you some practice with photography, videography, audio production. Uh, you even get there's a podcast project as part of this course. And so you could get into production in any of those areas after um, you've graduated from the program. All right, and then foundations of agriculture and agri-food. So of course, as an agriculture communications program, we want to ensure that students are well-grounded in the industry. You do not need to have an agriculture background coming into this. We will teach you what you need to know. This program is open for anybody who is just interested in you know, communications and in getting into an industry that has a lot of job security and a lot of demand. Um, the courses in here are going to give you an overview of the egg and the agri food industries and teach you about like the challenges that people and companies in these sectors face. How you're going to be able to help them solve those problems and where you'll be able to find yourself a place um, in the industry. A strong understanding of the current media landscape and how to navigate it is going to be critical for success working in the communications and marketing field. You'll learn how to critically dissect existing media and storytelling and how to create compelling stories yourself. Public relations and crisis communications is one area that you could find yourself in after graduating. There's a high demand for professionals in this area. If you are someone who thrives on adrenaline and can keep a cool head in the crisis, this might be an area that could be really interesting for you. These are the other courses that are part of the program. So just to give you a well-rounded idea of everything that you're going to take. So developing your professional voice, storytelling in multimedia. Um, and like I said, you do take a course that prepares you for your work integrated learning, your experiential learning in the workplace. All right, so let's talk a little bit about what you could actually find yourself doing after you've graduated. 
I've brought up a small selection of careers here for you, but I want you to keep in mind that, you know, you, the doors are really wide open once you've graduated. Of course, we are teaching this in an agricultural context, but I think it's important to recognize that the skills that you're learning could be applicable to absolutely any industry. There's going to be demand for people to tell stories, take pictures, manage social media accounts um, for absolutely any business. And so even though we're preparing you for a career um, in the egg industry because we're hearing from our industry partners that they need people who can do this. There's going to be demand for it, but you aren't limited to that. Your options are very wide open. Um, I think another important thing to recognize with career opportunities is that depending on where you find yourself, you could, maybe there's some aspect of this that really speaks to you and that you really want to hone in on. You're excited about marketing and you want to work in a marketing environment, or you really just want to do social media management. That's a possibility. If you're working for a larger industry, um, a larger company, sorry, there's chances for you to um, have a really specific career that's a little bit more narrow. On the other hand, though, if you kind of enjoy all of it and you like having a lot of variety in your day to day life, maybe you're working for a smaller company that has one person with a lot of different hats where you are managing their social media, but you're also going out, you're taking videos um, and photographs, you're writing news articles and press releases. So there's a chance to either have, um, you know, a lot of, like I said, variety in your day to day life and dabble a little bit in a lot of different things or really hone in on your passions. So a high demand example we've got up here is a marketing manager. Um, so that's somebody who is, you know, really using their creative skills and their persuasion skills to do things like create compelling ad campaigns, um, perform the ad buys, right? Like there's, a, there's some sales and negotiation aspects of this as well. Um, making sure that companies have a really strong internet presence high demand for this one, and you can um, make a lot of money doing it as well, which is kind of nice to hear. Are you going to get hired as a marketing manager directly after graduating? Potentially not. I mean, depends on the size of the company you're looking at. Um, but this is something that you could work as, you know, like a marketing associate or a marketing strategist and work your way up to becoming a manager. <laughs> Communications consultant is another aspect. If you're more interested in, you know, the writing and journalism aspect of things, um, crafting well-written public communications for a company is something that you might find yourself doing, um, really exploring your wordsmithing skills. And then another option here we've got is public relations representative. Um, so maintaining public image and dealing with um, the public perception in the event of some kind of crisis or negative situation, turning that around um, can be, again, something that there's very high demand for right now in the agriculture industry. Um, and if you like that more fast paced environment, this can be a really good place for you. All right, and then some other career opportunities I have up here. Like I said, the, the sky's almost the limit in this because there's so many different places that you can take it. You can become a journalist or a reporter. You can work in as a podcast producer. You can be a digital communications advisor. Um, and so I like the fact that you get a chance to kind of explore a lot of different aspects of the industry, a lot of different facets. And like I said, in your work integrated learning, try one of those out and see if it's for you. In today's world, every business needs people that can tell their stories and advocate for them. And this is something that you can be a part of. All right, so this program does start annually in September. Applications are gonna open up about 11 months before the program starts. So the first Wednesday in October. Um, so for those of you that are still in high school, that's gonna be October of your grade 12 year is when you can start applying for this program. For admission requirements, we're just looking for 55% uh, average between English language arts A30 and B30. And then basically one grade 11 science course is what you need to get into it. And here we have our tuition and fee breakdown. Um, so just over $6,000 for tuition and just over $1,000 in fees. And then we suggest that you budget about $1,500 for your books and supplies for the program. 
always important to remember that there's a lot of resources out there to help you pay for your education, you know, without going into too much debt, things like government grants. Um, we have a, a strong scholarship award and bursary program here at the college as well that you can apply for. And there's so many um, external parties as well that are offering scholarships and bursaries to students. And it's important to make sure that you're exploring all of your funding options. Definitely reach out to us for help if you need some, some direction um, to get you started with that. But a lot of scholarships are really under applied for, so it's important to get your name out there. And it's not always just about grades, right? This can be about your volunteer activities or leadership, extracurriculars, where you were born, where your parents work. There's so many different criteria uh, that you can use to help get your education paid for. All right, I think that ends the formal part of our presentation today, but I'm happy to take any questions that we may have. Thanks, Aubrey. Uh, before I get uh, started into some questions and my thoughts on the presentation today, I just wanted to give you an opportunity to share a little bit about yourself, because um, I know that you don't come from an agriculture background and you spoke about how students may go into this program uh, without any background experience. So can you just share with us a little bit about your own career journey? Yeah, absolutely. Lisa is exactly right. I don't have an agricultural background myself. Um, I grew up in Red Deer. Uh, my educational background is that I have a Bachelor of Arts in Anthropology. And so you might be asking yourself, what is she doing at an ag school? Um, but that's just the way that things evolve. And because I think I brought a lot of skills to the table that weren't necessarily related to agriculture, but had a lot to do with, you know, my communications, um, sales background, things like that, I was able to find a place for myself. And now I find myself immersed in an agricultural setting and did I think that I was going to work have a career in agriculture when I graduated I definitely didn't um, but now that I'm here and seeing all of the exciting things that people are working on um, and you know getting a lot of fulfillment from the fact that we're all working together to create a better future and to feed the planet it's a really exciting place to be so yeah I think it's really important to recognize that um, while of course we we welcome applications and students who do have that agricultural background it's definitely not necessary and no matter what your skill set is and what your interests are there is some aspect of the agricultural industry that has a place for you that's exciting and it's exciting to know that you can be successful without any background experience in agriculture at all and use a variety of skill sets to, you know, you might be somebody who just likes social media, who uh, are very interested in technology or journalism, whatever. You don't have to go into those fields. You could do it through an agriculture background, which is exciting to see. Um, thank you for showcasing this program for us and the flexibility that is afforded to, uh, for someone to complete this program from anywhere. Um, it's great to see that it can be done online or on campus and it allows students to work and go to school and you know manage things. I also appreciate the um, asynchronous option. Um, that's awesome for kids or for students. Um, again, this program offers hands-on experience and some work-related experience that helps students to know if it's the right fit for them. And it's only a 10-month program. Um, so it can be a, a jumping point for them for other things. It gives them paid internship and experience on their resume and possible jobs after graduation, which is always what somebody wants to know. They don't want to graduate and then think, what am I going to do with this piece of paper that I have? Um, if a student uh, takes this certificate and then decides that they'd like to continue their education in a, in a different facet, um, and this might bridge them to a different degree, um, can you talk about what that might do? Because this is just a starting place for some. It might be where they stay and, and bridge off of their career, but they might use this as a stepping stone to something else. Yeah, absolutely. And there are a lot of people who do that, who end up getting, you know, two or more credentials. And there's a lot of good reasons to do that, right? It makes you so much more marketable. It gives you the opportunity to kind of um, shift focus or um, shift strategies as, you know, the industry um, demands change over time. I think the neat thing about this program, um, A, that it's short, right? So it's not like you're spending a whole bunch of time on one thing and then, and then moving on to something else. It's pretty quick. If you decide to do something else afterwards, it's only an additional year that you've added on to things. 
it gives you the opportunity to um, get some some good jobs, even ones that you can do virtually while to help you pay for the rest of your education. And it's going to give you skills that are applicable to a wide range of things right and so maybe after this you get into who knows precision agriculture you've decided you know i do want a bit more of a specific agriculture degree and so i'm going to go into that area um but now you've got skills that would help you if you ever started your own business right you'll know how to do some of your own marketing and communications and social media management and that kind of thing so it's and nice in the sense that you're getting specific skills, but you're also getting a lot of transferable skills that can help elsewhere. Um, a lot of this program focuses on, you know, being able to communicate well, that's going to do you good in absolutely any industry, and that's written and verbal communications. And so I think that you're never going to do yourself a disservice by taking these courses, they're going to, they're going to help you in your life, no matter what you end up doing. That's so true. And it's great to recognize that um, the certificate does not limit you, you know, that you have options in other industries um, that you can be successful in as well. Um, and that those skills are transferable. You might start out in the agriculture industry and have another option available, available to you in another industry. And you don't necessarily need different education because the transferable skills within this will allow you to be successful in that career. So that's nice to be able to see. Uh, we don't hear of lots of programs that give you that opportunity. So that's good to see. Um, my next question is around admissions. Uh, I see that um, um, the admission requirements are amazing. So it, it, it allows for more people to be um, have access to this program. Um, what does someone do if they haven't applied in the fall, though? Because you talk about fall admission, you know, application starts, and let's say they're just hearing this in the spring, winter or spring, and they want to come in September, but they didn't apply last October. What, what do they need to do? I mean, your first step is going to be to reach out to us because it can, this is a brand new program. So it's a, it's a bit hard for us to forecast how popular it's going to be this upcoming year. Um, as long as you meet those admission requirements or are on track for them, and there's an open seat in the program, we can admit you. But how long it takes for the program to fill up and those open seats to go away, like I said, it can vary from year to year and it's going to change as more people learn about this program as well. So for example, if you are graduated or in grade 12 right now, there is still room in this program for this September. I can't guarantee that that's going to be the case next June though, right? Um, and so just reach out to us. We'll let us know what the status is. We do have a wait list in case the program does fill up. Um, but even if you haven't applied early, that doesn't mean that you can't get in for this upcoming year. There's often ways for us to kind of, you know, sweep you in, even if it's on a part-time basis just to get started or to put you on the wait list and see if room becomes available. That's good to know because, you know, oftentimes in September or October of the previous year before the year before you want to go, uh, you might not necessarily know that. And you might be, you know, it might be February, March, April, and you're thinking, you know, I'd like to go to school in the fall. Do I have any options? And it's nice to hear that there are options available. They just need to contact you. There might be spots or other ways to get in. Not that they would have to wait till September and then begin to apply. They can, you know, they could start now. Yeah, exactly. Not necessarily. Um, and so, and, and that's going to be the case for anything that you're not sure about, right? Please just communicate with us because we might have an alternative for you that you haven't thought about. Right. That's, that's so good to hear. So good to hear. Well, thanks again, Aubrey. Uh, Aubrey, it's, it's been um, nice to hear about the variety of programs that are available that Olds College is looking for, um, you know, looking at the, the um, what's out there, what's in demand, what are some things, you know, what industries are telling us are in demand and they're creating education that's suitable for that. Um, and so we know that it's going to continue to change. You're going to offer different programs over time that are relevant. And uh, we're excited to see that. I'm excited to see the next two spotlights that you have, especially the next one on equine programming and the variety of um, classes that students could take in that. So Thanks again for sharing this um, spotlight with us. Yeah, thank you so much for having me, Lisa. And, and I think what you said is so true, right? It's, it's so important. Learning for the sake of learning is a wonderful thing, but I think we all are looking for, you know, a solid career where we can feel fulfilled and support our lifestyles. And so it's so important to us that our students are finding good jobs when they graduate. 
And I think this is a really exciting opportunity for people to do exactly that. Thank you. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you next time.